know here answering your questions about literally anything. First up, a question posed by WHAS 11 political editor Chris Williams. Could air conditioning be recirculating coronavirus air? Basically, the answer from healthcare professionals is we don't know yet. The Cleveland Clinic published an article on May 25th about a case in China that suggested a restaurant's air conditioning got 10 customers sick. But there were also people in the restaurant who didn't get sick, and you have to take other things into account, like where else those people had been and what they've touched. Just a whole lot to look at. So while fans and air conditioning do move air around a room and could technically move virus particles or droplets, the article says more research is needed to understand the impact, if there is one, of air conditioning and coronavirus in public places. Next, a very important couple of dates that we need to talk about for people who are financially stressed because of coronavirus. When are the programs in place for extra help set to expire? The extra $600 a week for unemployment from the federal government is supposed to expire on July 31st, so we've gotten about five weeks left of that. And don't forget you have until July 15th to file those income taxes. On March 25th, Governor Bashir suspended evictions in an executive order effective the duration of the state of emergency. but. Some of the eviction bans in other states have ended and 24 states are now processing evictions. Some of the utility companies that waive late fees and suspended shutoffs like Verizon and AT&T in their grace period on June 30th. Thanks for the questions and keep them coming. Text what you want to know to 502-582-7290 and you might see the answer right here on WHAS 11 News.